Okay. So here's our aquaponics thing again. It's been running now for two days. Water's clearing up quite a bit. You can almost see the only, you could see the bottom before I stirred it up a little bit, sticking the air stones down there. Got a couple of air stones in there now. I've got my water level set so that it flows just right. I also put a little cage around the drain. So the problem I kept having was uh, the smaller stones would plug the drain. I've got my overflow in there. So that if it gets plugged, it just goes down the overflow, which saved me from the uh, draining the pub once already or twice. Today I went out and bought some fish. We're going to start it out with some feeder goldfish. <clears throat> They're uh, not the most hardy species. That one right there is back, already backstroking. He's just uh, still laying on the bottom. Uh, I bought 36 of them for like $3.50 or something ridiculous like that. Water temperature is up to about 65, probably 70 degrees. Uh, for recirculation, or to keep the, the water in the tank moving, <clears throat> what I did was I've got my downspout coming down and I just added some PVC to it, put a couple of elbows on it and I get a nice current that flows around. You can kind of see from the, uh, the stuff flowing around in here. Works really good. I've seen other guys that have used separate pumps or have used offshoots or uh, pipes coming off their pump to circulate the water. I thought this would be a better, more efficient way to do it. So. Water's got to come back down anyway, so we might as well use it to circulate. Uh, I did have a small leak on there that I had to fix. The way I did this was I made my, uh, I got my pump sitting down on the on a brick. I've just got a small uh, pond pump that was actually out of our pond from last year. I got it hard plumbed up. Got a couple of valves for regulating flow. I used some uh, one inch inside diameter clear tubing right there. And that's basically if I have to change pumps, I've got something flexible uh, versus it being hard plumbed all the way to the bottom and being a pain to get out. <clears throat> I bought an air pump today. So it claims it's only good for up to a 20, 20 gallon aquarium, but let's see if it can handle 250 gallons. I got my power strip up nice and high. All my cords are up high above where the water level could ever get or splash. So I'm going to electrocute myself or anything in the tank. And we'll let these guys uh, acclimate for a couple of hours. And before I go to sleep tonight, I'll come out and dump them in. And hopefully in the morning, one or two of them will still be alive. So we'll uh, keep it updated and keep you posted. Stop back again.